part 7 of our Tengvar series. Today we're going to be doing some very important and very much used symbols. They're a little tricky, but we'll make we'll make do. So, the first one that we're going to talk about is going to be the WH sound. Like what, why, what, who, even. <clears throat> um, the next one that we'll look at is L. And we're going to look at the symbol that makes for words that end with LD. There's a separate symbol for that. And then, just like the S in the last video, we have two Zs. And the symbols are similar to the S's and how the Z it starts a word and then this Z is when there's previous letters before the Z and of course they make the Z sound so let's look at how to write these the WH is a little strange to say the least um, but once you practice it it's it's almost like writing a, uh, a two without the top so that's the way I kind of look at it it's more like a this like that and that's about the way it looks so so let's do the L L is it's it's real pretty if you can draw it correctly sometimes I struggle with that so let's do that like that the LD is the exact same as this, except at the bottom, you're going to hook this instead of going up, you're going to go down. So it's going to look like this, like that, like that. For a Z, you have these little, uh, almost like mini S's. Uh, there's two of them, like this. And then to do the other Z, you just do the opposite. So it's like this. And I don't think it's uh, any accident that they look like the little S's. There's two of them because it makes sense if you're doubling the S sound, it would probably sound like a Z, like a Z. So, okay. So, moving on, let's look at some uh, some words so that we can put this into practice. All right. So let's jump right in. Uh, we're going to use some W H words like when what, where, and why. All right, so let's look at these. So let's draw our WH symbol like this. And then we want to draw the N like this and draw our E over the top. So for what, like that, and then draw a T with an A on top. Now for this where we're going to draw our WH like this and because this R comes before a vowel we are going to use this symbol. With an E on top and remember there's an E at the end so we're going to use a dot like that. For WH here we're going to use the same symbol. For Y because it's making an I sound instead of a Y sound, we're going to draw a carrier and put the little down arrow. All right, so that handles the WHs. Let's look at some L words. So let's look at Lord, Light, Alone, and Well. Alright, for Lord, let's make our L like that. Because the R comes before a cons consonant, we're going to use this one. And then draw our D out, put the O on. For light, we're going to draw our L. And we need to use the GH symbol. And if you remember, that looks like this. Put an I on top 
and then draw our T out like that. Kind of running out of room, um, but that's okay. So alone, you want to do an L, put your A on top, do an N, like that, and then the O on top and the ending E dot. And now well, I need to make sure that we pay extra attention to this because it's got two L's in it. So let's show, I want to show you how to do that. So let's do our W like this. Draw your L, like that. Put your E slash over. And remember to add a double consonant, it's usually adding a line. In this case for the L, the line would go right there. All right. So now moving on, world. This is the LD um, part. Say mild, bolder, and hold. Let's see if we can do those. All right, world looks like this, a W, and we're going to draw this R because it comes before a consonant. So let's do our O, and to do LD, we just draw the L with the hook like that. To do mild, we're going to draw our M, L with the hook. So M I L D. Now to do bolder, we're gonna draw our B. And for this, I would do a carrier O and do L D. Put the U hook on top of L D. And then because the R is the ending R, we're going to do this and slash. And finally to do hold. Do H, L, D, and O. Alright, and now we're going to be doing the Z words. So let's do zoo, zebra, zeal, and Zelda. So to do zoo, we would do the Z symbol like this long carrier and an O. To do zebra we do the Z, a B like that, E because this R is before a vowel then we're going to use this symbol and then we're going to finish it out with a carrier and an A. To do the Z or zeal and we're going to do a carrier for the E and then an L and an A, Z E A L. For Zelda, we're going to do this. This time we're going to use the L D, E on top of L D, and then a short carrier and A for Zelda. Alright, let's move into the second Z, which is inverted. So let's look at how to do lizard. Hazard is because it makes the z is sound, so we use a z instead of an s, and the same goes for a has. So for a lizard, we do an l, we do our z like this with an i on top, then do an r like that because it comes before. A consonant, put the A, and then finish out with the D. Hazard. So do the H. Do your inverted Z. Put an A on top of the Z. This time, exactly the same as that one. So let's do this R, an A, finish it out with a D. For is, you just do the Z symbol like that with an I on top. Has, you do an H the Z like that and then A on top has 
All right, that concludes part seven's words and examples. Let's move on to the riddle.